Hello and welcome to this special feature on the Cross Government Climate Hub, a new online community that's changing the way that the public sector addresses the climate and biodiversity crisis in the UK. Together, we're going to meet just a few of the people that are helping drive this collaborative, volunteer-led initiative forward. And we'll hear about how it's helping to break down silos and move the dial on climate change. So if you're ready, let's meet the team. So the motivation started around that some of the conversations that I was having in my local authority were very challenged, if that makes sense. So knowing that we wanted to deliver 110%, but actually only getting maybe 50% because of some of the, the local challenges around politics and, and some of the myths that were kind of coming out around climate change. So the reason that the, the group was started was to help kind of understand where other local authorities are and being able to leverage myself to kind of showcase their work so that it didn't look like one local authority was on its own and trying to deliver so much more um, than they actually could deliver. So effectively the community group allows us to share openly some of our thoughts and needs for our local area without kind of having that backlash of a political debate because you can actually gather the evidence that you need and opinions from others before you can kind of take that to your wider team in your local authority. So if you're encountering a new challenge um, or not quite sure how to do something, which happens a lot, um, especially, so I, I work in particular on climate change adaptation, uh, which actually as much as it should have been a big thing for a long time, it hasn't really been for a long time. So a lot of what's going on is quite new. So you can go on there um, and say, has anyone else done any work thinking about how we can monitor and evaluate climate adaptation, for example? Um, and then uh, what I found useful from that was um, getting to engage with a couple of academics you have done. Um, I think I've asked other questions pertaining to the most recent or even upcoming and climate projections and I've been linked up with people from the Met Office. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can showcase your work. Um, so that's quite a useful one for us because a lot of what we do at the Environment Agency is producing resources which we want other organisations to be using. So as much as we have our own kind of like formal um, networks um, and like means of spreading that information, just having another outlet for it um, and getting somewhere where you can have a bit more of a discussion around it and people saying they find it useful. Um, so we've got our climate impacts tool, for example, um, which shows how climate change is likely to manifest itself in the UK in 2050 okay. and then up to 2100. Um, so I've shared that on the hub um, and that's got good engagement. So I think it's useful for us, uh, yeah, both in terms of understanding how our organisations are doing things and learning, but also sharing what we're doing and hopefully helping other organisations learn from us. If you are working within the public sector, then you are invited to join and it would be great to have you. We do have a dedicated space for local authorities because they are their own sort of beast within because they touch every part of our lives on a daily basis and so we do have a separate part so you can join that as well if you're a local authority it's all part of the same system though but if you wanted to find out more information we have our website which is collectiveforclimateaction.org and if you're interested in innovate uk uh, business connect it's iuk.ktn-uk.org or give us a google and it will come up and it's really simple to join and we're hosted on a, a website called gov news which is a relatively new platform that we are sort of the early adopters of uh, and so you'll be able to join in on that and then that's where your your journey with the hub would begin what we ask people to do is just join just to come on every week just to see if there's any big questions being asked we're saying it doesn't matter what role you're in you know, it might be a passion project, you're really uh, engaged on biodiversity and somebody asks you a question about um, climate adaption, maybe around flooding, for example, and how we could look at that. You can answer that question or maybe you know somebody who knows somebody in your local authority that you can ask that question to and get back to that person. So we're effectively using our network that somebody will know somebody that can answer your question. And we know that there are so many different 
platforms, so many different discussion groups, the idea that this is to remove all those boundaries, it's not about a retrofit channel and uh, on housing, it's not a biodiversity channel, it's not a planning channel and it's not a transport channel, it's a climate channel that you can speak anything whether it's at home or work. So we just break down those barriers so everybody can feel they can make a difference. So it's not just, how do I get into climate? Or oh, I'm part of a climate group and I can make a difference. And maybe that job comes up, I can go and apply for it in public sector. And I've got a community where if there's a question I just cannot answer, I can ask the community. Because sometimes we're a bit of jack of all trades in climate. We're not specialists in everything. And some people are, some people aren't. And that's how we can kind of share and cross collaborate. And I think that's what really sets this community apart is we have that and also when we're feeling down we have somewhere where we can chat to people that understand the challenges and that's really where I come from is I had that in my own experience of people around me that didn't understand climate and feeling a little bit down and actually having a group where you can just chat and actually open up and you have people that can kind of understand where you're coming from it just it gives you that boost of energy when you know in climate we're going to go through ups and downs ultimately. What I'd like to see is uh, more and more engagement uh, and to make the group as big as possible. We have cluster groups dotted around, but it'd be really good to have one focus group like the hub that everyone can come to, that they know where to go and what they're going to get.